up guys so this is the current and he's got all this dolly moved out especially the back area needs more dolly, dolly filling up get this leveled off and then I'm going to take this sleeper cut it in two and that'll fit in the last gap of my wall and then this sleeper is going to be cut as well to go and fit in this gap over here stay tuned so look at the bubble seeing a little bit more dolly under the back so what I'll do is go and knock some pegs in into the ground and use that spirit level all the way along to make sure that from the sleeper wall to the back it's level get this down whack a plated and this is ready as a base yet to make a decision on the back want to sleep along the back but then I might put a bit of a fall on the paving so the water will drain off and probably put some pebbles down at the back just a small gap so yeah looking good walls nearly finished two cuts to do another fence post to put in there get the wall built and then I'll assess to see about using these in the ground as a supporting factor for the whole wall if you're curious there's a bit of soil in there ready to start the backfilling process forget this just put it there temporarily but yeah much better because before the levels were miles off on this floor so really nice to see it coming along need to uh, start the steps next which hopefully I'll need a couple more sleepers I do like the two in style sleeper enclosed there uh, I think it'll look really nice when I get some lighting all the way along the wall and then what we're going to do for the finish of the wall is I'm going to put a sleeper lay down flat on there fix it and it'll be used as a bit of a seating bench um, and also it'll give me an extra sort of I think it's four inches um, or three inches four inches I think it is an extra couple of inch on top there which will be great because the level of the of the paving um, as you can see is not far off so yeah look great <laughs> 